Hey guys, how's she going today? Been a little while since I made a video. Been a little bit swamped with stuff to do and haven't really had time to. But now we're combining here on the last quarter of canola here. Things are going pretty smooth, so I make a video here. Got the smoky old Massey there in front of us. We're in the 2188. He ended up beating me to the field here and took the headland, so he's actually taken 30 feet and I've only got 24, but it's okay because, oopsie, a little bit of a lump there. Now, so I was gonna say is okay because the 24 foot swather has a smaller hole and it made more lumps. And uh, it's just the 2188 has the electric uh, header reverser on it. So it's kind of nice. Don't have to go with a slug wrench like the Massey would have been right now. It's a pretty tight wad there, that thing. There we go. It's a little bit lighter crop of canola than the quarter we were in yesterday just due to a lack of moisture here throughout the summer. But uh, it should still be okay for the year it's been anyway. Quite a bit of wild oats came in after we sprayed it. I don't really know where that came from, but I guess not much you can do about it. See how wet it was in the spring. There's great big flats like that that a guy could uh, usually farmed on a normal year and we couldn't put it in this year but uh, I guess we'll come back and make some slough hay and sell some cheap bales I guess if anyone's looking for some feed which isn't the end of the world so whatever it is what it is he went and got away from me I was about to pass him there but Yes, we'll let him feel like he's accomplishing something by staying ahead of me while he's on 30 feet, I guess. <laughs> no. He'll probably end up passing us again. Well, I guess maybe not, because he's on 30 feet and we're on 24. He's, uh, I don't know, the 2188 is supposed to hold 220 bushels, but from what I've gathered here, the Massey must hold quite a bit, or a bit more anyway, because uh, our one brown three-ton truck I can uh, just about put two full dumps of the 2188 into it and with the Massey you've got uh, quite all there's probably 25-30 bushels left into it when uh, the truck ends up getting full. So I don't really know what it's supposed to hold. I know it's supposed to be 190 and then it's got those uh, gray extensions on top. Plus, I added uh, a couple pieces of tin, those red pieces of tin you see on top of the screens there. Off of another combine, just because of the way the hopper filled, that extension filled, you couldn't actually fill the extension on it. The way it would hump up, your sides are always empty on each side of the pile. So I added that on there in the hopes that uh, You'd be able to heap it up a bit more and it works quite well actually but it, uh, the way it loads it piles it off to one corner a little bit so I've got my tin center of the hopper which isn't center of the pile the way it fills so next year I'll have to move it about a foot to the left and then we'll really be able to fill her up see if we can break an axle on it or something <laughs> but anyway for this year it's good enough really hot day here today, about 30 degrees outside, and we are moving the two combines together, and we got about 10 miles away from home, and uh, something, one of the thermostats in the Massey must have piled up, as all of a sudden it went from about 180 to 220 degrees, and uh, puked coolant all over the place, so I uh, have to go to the city tomorrow, two and a half hours away to the nearest Massey dealership 
I'm gonna pick up a couple new thermostats for it. Cause it had done the same thing last year going down the road. It overheated for no reason, just out of the blue like that. And even today, we had just finished cleaning the rads out on the two combines before we moved to the next field. So it really had no excuse. So I think the arrows are all pointing towards those that thermostat. Well, there's two in that it, so change them both. One of them, I guess, is starting to have issues or something. But, uh, oh well. Had quite the day yesterday with the 2188. Started out blowing a hose while I was unloading. And uh, in the process, I really got out to check what hose it was and the back tire blew at the same time. So I was shut down the majority of the afternoon. Well, just the old Massey there was earning its keep. There, now we're gonna pass them on the inside here. They're only at 580 on their odor out of 600, so we'll speed her up a little bit here just to pass them. <laughs> we're going about, uh, we're going five miles an hour right now. And we're still only at 580, like it's not even pulling down. Speed our header up a little bit more again here. Yeah, now we're going 5.6 five miles per hour. And no problem. Well, it's a pretty pitiful swath right here. Kind of a gravel strip. And like I said, it's dry, so it really got dried out. Oh boy, there's some swath. <laughs> Slow her back down a little bit here. Really look smart, go plug the combine while I'm making a video, then I have to delete it and start over so you didn't know about it. <laughs> There's a little bit of wild oats, like I said. When you get into those spots, that makes the old combine grunt. I don't know if that straw's a bit tough or what exactly is going on with that, but. Oh well, like I said, minor details, so ain't gonna stop us anyway. Not till it really gets dark out. I've only got two trucks right now. One's full of uh, Roundup Ready canola. So I had a 10 acre patch that I had broke up last year. It used to be hay ground. And I put Roundup Ready canola on it just so I could spray it with Roundup a couple times to try and control the alfalfa and the grass in it. So I've got that on a separate truck, there's about 300 bushels, and uh, that's going to go straight to the elevator tomorrow morning. So I've only got two three tons right now, the tandem, uh, the hydraulic pump piled up on it, and so it's at the shop in town getting fixed. We're down to the 80 brown Chevy three ton and the 1968 Ford three ton. So. Uh, the auger's not set up either because they just got moved here, so we'll probably just uh, get those three tons filled up and call her a night, I think, and uh, I gotta go to the city tomorrow. So I think uh, Antoine there, he's gonna go swathing wheat. Got a half section of wheat to come down. It's ready to be combined, so then hopefully we can get back to this canola on Thursday and get that done and we have to change the concaves and the uh, 2188 because it's got uh, every other wire pulled out for soybeans left over from last year so we got to change to the uh, fine concaves so we can really thrash that wheat good and then uh, have to change them back again for this year's soybeans but that's not too bad of a job on about an hour or so to get them out and the other one's back in again, so really not too big of a deal. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little bit of a video here. Sorry I haven't uploaded for a while, but uh, I'll try and make a few more videos here as harvest progresses. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. So we'll see you in the next one.